name is Isabel. And I'm Kevin. This is my husband, Kevin. Can you believe that I got him to do this? I'm so excited. <laughs> so thanks for joining us today for our little happy hour. Um, I am definitely on my tippy toes because he's six feet tall and I'm only five feet tall. So, oh, so Kevin today is going to be making a muddled. Old fashioned. Old fashioned. All right. Take so, us through it. To start, put a little fruit, an orange, and a cherry into the glass. Muddle it up. All right. Now you're getting your cocktail shaker with some ice. Two ounces of any bourbon or rye. Basil Haven's Dark Rye is really good. One of my favorites. Why did you pick this one? Because it's good with the mixed drink. <laughs> Kevin's a bourbon guy. Two ounces or a little more. A couple dashes of bitters. And then instead of a sugar cube, I use Demerara syrup, which is like a liquid sugar in the raw, about a teaspoon. Otherwise you would put a sugar cube? In here. Into the glass? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And you put a little water or club soda to let it dissolve. Ooh. Shake it up. Pour it in. Forgot the ice. <laughs> we might need that ice. And then garnish a little cherry and orange. That looks and that's it. awesome. Where, how'd you make that ice ball? With an ice ball mold. <laughs> is, it, is it by Cork Skull? Is that the one? But there's a bunch out there. So if you guys want, I'm sure you can order it somewhere on Amazon, I'm sure. How is it? Good? Yeah. And I'm not really into bourbon, but it's been really good. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. I like that. I think that, what is it called? Demerara, Demer, what? Demerara syrup. Demerara syrup. It like adds a really nice sweetness to it. Um, it tastes a little bit different than like just it's having. Thick. It makes it a little thicker. So it's like a syrupy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Um, it definitely tastes a little bit different than having just a sugar cube. So I think that syrup definitely makes a difference. Awesome. Um, if you guys end up trying this, let us know. Um, I'm going to write a blog post later today and um, include the recipe and the video and everything, but I also put the recipe at the bottom of the caption. Um, so if you guys wanted to make it at home, that would be awesome. Let me know if you do. And if there's any other drinks that you guys want us to make, um, we're more than happy to. We have a fully stocked bar, so we got to take advantage of this, right? Especially while we're at home in quarantine. <laughs> awesome. Um, so I have some new arrivals for you guys, and I also have some work from home tips and tricks for you, um, because I'm sure this is different for everybody going through this, um, and working from home can be a little daunting. Um, you get out of your routine, um, you're not used to, you know, not getting dressed for work, not putting makeup on. So I just wanted to go over some like little tips and tricks that I found and that I, you know, heard from other people, um, re you know, heard on like different um, podcasts and stuff that I thought were really, really good um, and really good tips. So, all right, I'm going <laughs> to, um, I'm sorry, you didn't get to make the drink, but usually pain loves helping. <laughs> we have a smoker too, where Kevin makes, um, smoked martinis and he made me a smoked margarita one time and it was so good maybe that's what we'll do next we'll do a smoked margarita um that would be so much fun so i have a little a few little tips and tricks um it's this whole wfh working from home um the number one thing that i have found that has really helped me especially in the last week or so where i really made myself stick to this was setting an alarm um there was one time i, I was listening to a podcast and i don't remember who it was but they said that if you actually end up sleeping in even on the weekends if you end up sleeping in longer than you're used to your body almost goes through a little bit of like a jet lag um, so you don't function as well, you're sleepy, um, your, you know, your brain can't like get into like work mode like it usually does. Yeah. 
What? Oh, yeah. Pain so going back to the working at home tips and tricks. Um, so setting an alarm, you know, you get your body gets used to waking up at a certain time. So I have definitely noticed for me, I set my alarm, especially this past week and a half, and I feel like I'm functioning better. I feel like I'm working better. Um, I'm more awake, I'm more with it. Um, another thing is to dressing comfortably but wearing stuff that you wouldn't be embarrassed to see out in, um, to be seen out in. So if you do have to run to the grocery store, you know, we're obviously trying to limit outings, but if you do and you would be embarrassed to be seen in what you're wearing at home, maybe don't wear it. Um, it kind of helps with like self-esteem, you know, really get you going for the day. Um, makes me work a little bit better. So a few things that you can wear, sets, one re like, Thank goodness sets are so in right now um, because you can find, we have a ton of sets that you can wear. Um, and then if you've been kind of following this set trend too, I'm sure you guys have a bunch too. But I was speaking with a stylist earlier today. I don't know if you guys are familiar with her, but her name is Hallie Abram. She's a Cleveland stylist. She is awesome. And we got into a whole conversation about um, getting dressed and getting ready for the day. And sets came up because I don't know what it is, but when you put together an outfit that goes together, you feel more ready for the day. You feel more put together. Um, so even if you take a t-shirt like I'm wearing, throw on a pair of comfortable jeans. Um, you don't have to wear it all day, but at least for the time that you're working, I think it'll kind of make you, um, you know, work a little bit better. Uh, let's see, a jumpsuit is an awesome one. We have a bunch of jumpsuits that are made from a really nice jersey fabric that are really comfortable. You don't even feel like you're wearing a full outfit or a, you know, or, um, or an uncomfortable jumpsuit because these are so comfortable. They feel like your favorite, like Jersey sweats, basically, um, jeans and a tee. Like I said, super easy. You don't even have to tuck in the tee. Like I have, I just got to get ready for you guys here. Um, and I did a FaceTime call earlier today. So that kind of gave me a reason to um, get dressed and do my hair and do my makeup. Um, and then yoga wear. Even when I get dressed in the morning, what I do is even though I'm putting on a pair of yoga pants and a tank top to work out, I still try to make sure that it's an outfit that it goes together. So even if it's just a really cute pair of black yoga pants and a cute top that goes with them. As long as you're not totally just throwing on whatever you find on the floor, um, I just think that I just think that makes us all feel so much better. Um, if you normally wear makeup, I normally wear makeup, and honestly, I can tell you guys, a little bit goes a long way. A little bit mascara, a little concealer, because when you look at yourself, you're really projecting who you are. So whether you're doing FaceTime calls, whether you're doing calls with workers or Zoom calls, whatever it is, um, the way you present yourself really, really shows. Um, set a schedule for yourself. I've done that the last week um, and I feel so much better too. So day in my life, I get up. I usually try to get up around six o'clock. I you know, come downstairs, let Willow out. Um, I do a workout, you know, Peyton gets up. Luckily he's six and a half. So once I get his breakfast ready and everything, he is perfectly fine. Um, but I can do a workout and then I get ready for the day. So I go and I shower, I do my hair real quick and I don't do my hair every day. I can usually go like four or five days without shampooing, but I at least style it. So if, if it's straight, it's straight. If it's curled, I just do a quick recurl, um, just quick things, just to, you know, get myself going for the day. And then I go to work. And then if I don't have to physically go into the store, I set up my little home office and I, and I work. I do my work that I need to do. Yes. Can you wait after I'm done with this? Okay. Um, have friends too that you guys keep yourself in check. Um, I think this is super helpful too. Um, just having just having somebody else to kind of 
keep in check with. Um, and then do Zoom chats. I think doing Zoom chats and Facebook chats and all that, I think that gives you a reason to get ready for the day. Um, and then, oh, my last one was your hair. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, I actually put a number there that you can text me to if you ever have questions about like items that I show you or little tips and tricks that I give. Um, but we have a lot of fun stuff going on. I have some new arrivals. Um, we've been getting a lot of stuff to the store because, or to the house because um, stores obviously, sadly, closed right now. Um, but, I'm still bringing new arrivals. Um, I'm still like unpacking, doing everything. So I'll show you some of the new stuff that we have. So we have a new jean jacket. You guys know how crazy I am about jean jackets. This is the Jolie. Jolie's super cool. Um, it's not a typical jean jacket, which is really nice. Um, it is a kind of blue acid wash jean jacket. And it has this really cool detail on the bottom. It's super soft, really lightweight denim. And then check out that back. So now that spring is here, it's starting to warm up a little bit. Jean jackets are definitely gonna be pieces that we're wearing a ton. Um, and these are pieces that are never going out of style too. So, um, you know, I was saying, earlier today I was saying that you know we have there's so many great going out pieces and all that and even though we're not going out right now um, doesn't mean that we won't be so it kind of gives you something to look forward to when you have a really cute going out top um, I have two new pairs of shorts so I have a white pair with buttons on the front, super big trend right now, um, in jean shorts, in jeans, in pants. I mean, this button trend is so awesome. So these are a high rise short. Um, this is the Jojo. They're online. They're on SanityStyle.com. Um, you can check them out, see what they look like on. They're really soft, really stretchy. And then we also have the Jax, um, which is a tie dye short with blue and white. Look at how cute those are. Um, not as stretchy as the first one, but just a little bit different. And also a high rise short, because the awesome thing is we're gonna be wearing shorts soon. Um, we have a bunch of graphic tees. So the beauty of a graphic tee is that you can wear it super casual with a great pair of joggers um you can wear it with a pair of jeans you can wear it with shorts you can wear it under a blazer you can wear it out to a dinner under a blazer and a great pair of pants um or you can do a little rough tuck like a little tie too um wear it under a blazer with a great pair of shoes and then you're done that is why a graphic tee is just so versatile you can wear it a million different ways so the one that i'm wearing is merci boku um we have the Jalen Lips Tea. A few of these two, we are kind of low on stock, but we are getting more in. Um, and then on the website, I listed what, what sizes are a pre-order, um, and then we have new ones coming in too. So make sure you're checking the website because I am constantly updating it. Um, and it's always free shipping, so or local delivery, or if you'd like, you can just pick it up from us. I can leave it out in the back for you, whatever you wanna do, we're here. Um, the, this one was really popular. The designer bags under my, or the bags under my eye are designer. Um, so for all my designer lovers out there, um, these are, the t-shirt is not super fitted. Um, it's not tight, but it's not super loose either. So it's the perfect in between. So you can tuck it in like I have it, or um, I'll show you. Or what you can do is you can take it and you can knot it. Two of my favorite ways to wear a graphic tee. This is probably not gonna stay, but you guys get the get the gist. Um, I also have chow. And then the last one, which we have more coming in also, is the Tatum Lightning Bolt in Leopard. So cute. So the Lightning Bolt is like the new star. We're gonna we're seeing it everywhere. Um, and then we also have this one coming in in a black and white check. That's so cute. You guys have to check it out on the website. And then for all my makeup eraser lovers, um, we have two colors that turquoise, and they changed their packaging. It's so nice. It's um, okay. 
there we go, connection cut out. Um, it's, the packaging is so cute. And then we also have it in coral. So these were two really popular colors.